Ah, such a soothing remix. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. What do you say we go catch Nabbit and this time I'm going to use my noodle by using a star and hopefully I'm gonna get it on the, the first try otherwise I would really suck to have to do this without a star. This is a rather tricky stage to speed run. And it's done. <laughs> It's just that, that flat area right at the beginning, and I can just go right through the munchers like that. It just made it a piece of cake. Woo! And yet another PA corn gets added to my collection. But, more importantly, I just did something. I caught Nabbit in every world. And what that does is it adds a star to your save file. There are five stars in all, and that's basically the indicator of whether or not you really 100% of the game. And I, of course, intend on getting all five stars. Alright, let's go to the lifehouse, even though I do not need lives whatsoever. This is pretty much just a total waste. I just wanted to see what was inside the house more than anything. like to see which kind of... Uh, a mini game was coming, I suppose. Mm, oh, oh! And watch, I'm gonna get like the new record on getting more lives than anyone. I don't know, <laughs> just because I I don't need lives at this point in time. Nah, it's gonna be about an average record at this rate. Mm, oh, oh! I just got two Bowsers in that one shot. Well, it was actually two shots at once, but. Mm. Yeah, that's about an average turnout. And my life counter didn't go up at all. <laughs> this is it, the Mario games nowadays are really, really generous with lives. I mean, I guess that's an okay thing because, you know, it's if you, if you lose your lives and get a game over, you're just gonna restart the game anyway, you know, go back to the last save point. So it's it's not really like a big deal or anything like that. It's just the thing of that uh, they give a lot of them to the point that you'll probably never even see the game over screen. Anyway, Meringue Clouds dash Ghost House. Let's go. There are two exits in here, so be on the lookout for that. Oh, this ghost house. Oh, this is a really mean ghost house. <laughs> and I mean a really mean ghost house. You'll see why. Well, there's coins and locations like that, which are pretty easy, but there are a couple of really, really obscure coins that you quite literally have to fall down holes in order to find. And that's probably going to tick me off, because I don't like that sort of level design. I'm just going to keep going with it. Uh, is this where it stops? Mm, who knows? Is it going back up? No, it's not going back up. Wait a second. Door here. Secret door? Oh yeah, isn't this a secret exit actually? I'll just see, check that door. Yeah, I thought so. There's a uh, uh, Luigi with King Boo from uh, Luigi's Mansion. Nice little reference. And up we go to the secret exit. Yay! That was quick. Well, for one exit at least. Maybe that was the thing that got me before was that door. Maybe it wasn't the coins. I guess we're about to find out in my second run through the level. And the Rainbow Road goes underneath the roulette that's coming up. You'll know what I mean when I do that later. And back to the Vanishing Ghost House. It's called the Vanishing Ghost House because as you can tell, the platforms behind you vanish as you go. So it, it basically gives you a time limit on top of the new Super Luigi U 100 second time limits. It gives you more pressure than the time limit itself. Mm, just use the block to guard myself. You can use the solid ones all you please. If I would if I would have done that poorly, I would have taken a hit, but eh, well, just having some fun with this here. All right, going down. Oh, what the? That was mean. That shouldn't be set up like that. What if you're on the edge like I was? Well, I guess you're gonna take a hit, but that's not the kind of no, not the kind of way you want to take a hit, is what I'm saying. And yeah, I figured I would be taking too long there to get that coin. It's just that I didn't really have a hit to sacrifice at that point to jump up for the coin. Mm, just use one of these. 
I'm not gonna use it to cheat the level, as I said before. I'm just gonna use them for the extra hits. Because you can use this, uh, the P squirrel, or power squirrel power here, by just simply uh, using it once without flying unlimitedly if you want to. So, yeah. I mean, I could use it and abuse it, but that's not really the way to beat the level, in my opinion, for a walkthrough. Because what if the viewer does not have a PA corn? What if? <laughs> They're doomed! Well, okay, maybe not, they're not, I mean, they, they figure out their own way of doing it, but what I'm saying is that it, it would be a, um, it, it wouldn't be a good idea for the, the walkthrough, oh boy, whew, wait a second, not going to, this is, is this a fake door or is that a real door? I'm kind of afraid to, because um, I want to know which one leads to third coin, Oop. Hmm, I think that other door might have led to the third coin. Hmm, maybe this ghost house is a puzzler, but at least I got another coin in my run. Woo! And I'll let you see the cutscene as to uh, unlocking the next sequence of events here before I cut over to me collecting the third coin. So you just go skip over to the other side. That has to do with a overworld event that I'll cover very shortly. Oh, 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 oh. Ha! I don't need to go back and catch you anymore. I got you in every single world. All right, coming up to the point where I collect the second coin. Of course, I don't need to collect the second coin again, but it's just a matter of showing you where I am left off. Oh, wow, well, that's not, it's not really, oh, wait a second. What, what if I were to... I can't screen the scroll downwards, can I? Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and if you don't want to go upstairs, you hold down as you're going across like that. Yeah, you, you kind of like hold right and down, sort of, I guess that... Well, maybe, maybe it just doesn't naturally. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of some other Mario game. Well, there's the last coin. I could have actually gotten that. Couldn't I have... Um, no, wait, did I have the squirrel power up? I don't remember. Hmm. Ah, whatever. I got it now. That's all that matters, I suppose. And that is a really cool background. Made it. Ominous yet beautiful. I love the way that it also frames the moon. Like, it's got the clouds of... You know, cl rings of clouds up above. Sort of like Death Mountain, except it goes over to the uh, moon. Alright, in this little mini game of sorts, what you want to do is, I mean, just memorize the path that will take you to the destination that you want to go, and you will always change paths at a rainbow, like a side rainbow. So I want to go over to the fuzzy at the top there, just for the sake of organization, which means I would like to take this path first. See that? Oh, wait, 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 what? Oh, I forgot about the rainbow at the end. Well, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> no. I'll just go back over. Alright, one more try here. Pay more attention, PK Gam. This one, I think, if I recall correctly. Yes, there we go. It's randomized each time, but you'll always end up at one of three locations, depending on the path you choose. Okie dokie. I would like a star, please. That would be very helpful. And, oh. Well, lost one power-up. Gonna be gaining another. And it is... a mini mushroom. So that takes care of fuzzy version one. Um, maybe I'll do the other one when I go back down the other path, because that's kind of a hassle when I'm already here at the next level I want to be. So let's just go to Meringue Clouds Dash 4, above the bouncy clouds. And it's actually going to have those clouds at the bottom of the screen. Those are the kinds of bouncy clouds that make you go... Like so. Hey, it's a Yoshi. How's it going? You're going to eat everything, aren't you? Oh, no! Uh, how do I get that now? Well, I mean, I, I can shoot. Well, that cloud is actually a pretty good uh, Yoshi filter. <laughs> it stops it from running. The reason why I need Yoshi is, is because, of, because of that, basically. The flutter jump. 
So I can go under like that and safely get to the other side. I could, if I had it, use the squirrel power, obviously, but I don't. At least not right now. Oh no! Hmm. I hope that doesn't screw me later on. <laughs> Not gonna have enough time, am I? Nope, not gonna have enough time. Well, I can easily wall kick to get that one over there. No squirrel needed, no Yoshi needed. What's in this box? Oh, another Yoshi. Hee! Oh, I should actually leave you behind. You you dance the music and have some fun. I'm going to oh actually I should use you. As mean as that sounds, Yoshi, I need to use you to make sure that I have oops, an extra hit just in case that happens. Alright. Mm, oh, 20 seconds. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. And I was rushing. Arrgh! I'm near the, near the end of the level anyway. But, uh, it's kind of painful to lose all the coins I collected. Just saying. <laughs> but I'll be fine. I'll get over it. Because this will be the run that I get everything. Gotta catch them all. Bloop. Alright, let's just go... See, I, I spent a lot of time uh, at this particular spot because of this boomerang bro as well as my explanations of stuff. So I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm just going to go under... There we go. And just keep roaming forward. So I'm pretty sure I know the locations of the last coin. Alright... So I'm, I'm gonna skip the red coins. Just because... Oh wait, actually I might want to get... Aha! That's right, there could be... Um, sometimes when you have a Yoshi... Oh no! When you have a Yoshi, um, when you hatch another Yoshi, it won't be a Yoshi. It'll be a, either a power-up or a one-up. So that's what I was hoping for, just so I would have an extra hit for Mysterious Corridor here. And oh jeez, there's a lot of them. What, what's the point of that? Is that just... Be like a Goomba shoot? Oh, there's the last coin. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, how am I gonna get that now? Gotta follow your nose. Nope, nope. That's Toucan Sam. Wait, 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 wait. No, dang it. <laughs> I can't stop my bounciness. I can control my fall, though. Just a little bit. Yes, got it. Ten seconds. Go, PK Gam, go! Go, PK Gam, go! Yes! <laughs> Alright, now I'll go tackle the other path in our roulette game. Yeah. So that's going to unlock the path over to a later level, but I'm not going to do that now because I'm doing the levels in order, so yeah. Alright, let's pay attention. I just have to go right down the middle. There always seems to be uh, three vertical uh, rainbows. And here we are, Meringue Clouds Dash 5, Flame Chomp, Ferris Wheel. And yes, I know I have yet to do uh, that fuzzy, it just didn't appear on this path like the other one did in the other path like I wanted it to. Well, anyway, these are Flame Chomps, they like to shoot stuff and once they run out of flames on their trail, they'll actually track you down and try to explode next to you like a babam would, like that one was gonna do. Oh, wait, well, oh, this version... I guess it doesn't track you down. I guess that was just the Mario 3 version. So, pardon me with that. Um, wait a second. They could hide something here, but they didn't. You just never know. Okay, let's have fun on the Ferris wheels. As much fun as we possibly can when death is coming left and right. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to track on the screen there. Between the fire and the... Uh, 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 where I should be in, via Piranha Plant hitboxes, so to speak. Alright, so... How are you guys doing? Looking pretty good, though you might have some indigestion issues. Because... Yeah, you got some very bad heartburn. But that's okay, just grab some Tums or something, you'll be good to go again. Or is, or is it more like Prilosec or something like that? Hmm... Just trying to think of remedies, so to speak. Oh, that's the same way I took a hit at that point before. Should have known better. Because that's a, that's a spawn point of the Flame Chomp. 
I'm just gonna skip those. <laughs> I don't have a hit to spare. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna skip that. Oh, uh, wait, oh! Hey, you. How about coming up over here? Oh. Um, can I pull off a jump of that length? Maybe. <laughs> can I respawn the other one that exploded? Maybe. Uh, something tells me no. Oh! And I have to redo the stage. I came up just a little bit short on that jump. That jump might be possible, actually. Looking at it a little closer. Because I, I could have did that when I was a little bit higher up on the jump. Well, anyway, see you at the end of the level. How did I not know this is? There's a huge Luigi in the background. <laughs> you know, formed of clouds? How did I not see that before? Yep, that jump is indeed possible. Don't need that flame chomp whatsoever. Woohoo! Alright, let's take care of that fuzzy before I end off the part, before I forget about it. That's a very easy thing to forget because it's it's something that appears when you go through this event, basically. So let's just do this one more time, just for that fuzzy. Oh, it actually could be any kind of fuzzy. Oh. Hmm. So maybe I... Well, it, will this be a different variation of the fuzzies? Because, it, it, yeah, it's a different variation. So I guess there's different, uh, I mean, I mean there could be many, many different kinds of, oh shoot, fuzzies there. And, uh, it might not matter if I get all the fuzzies there, because they're just going to respawn, and I won't know for sure how many are there exactly, so to speak. Oh. Can I get, yeah, there we go. Gotta get there before Nabbit gets it, yeah. Another mini mushroom. Handy for secrets. Not so practical for the regular playing. <laughs> so, okay, I'm just gonna assume that there's... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to go through the fuzzies over and over to make sure that I got all of them is what I'm saying. But uh, the concept is the same. Just grab a star, kill all the fuzzies. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.